calling to the Sri Lankan skipper. Running to make two out of that. Plenty of support for the visitors here today. And, uh, certainly, got plenty to shout about. That was uh, swung away. A touch of desperation there. It was around about middle stump. But, uh, hit the middle of the bat. That's what counts in the end. Tremendous. <laughs> well, worth another look at that, uh, Tom. Very, very slow delivery. And I reckon he certain, certainly needed a half butt to get there. We're looking for a declaration. Tremendous heave at that. <laughs> Look more like a golf swing, actually. Third time lucky. <laughs> Caught that uh, fairly high on the bat as well. through there to Paul Downton. The end of heroic innings here from Siddharth Vetti Mooney. He's out for 190, and England have taken another wicket. 442 for five. And the whole of uh, the crowd here at Lord's rising to pay tribute to Vetti Mooney. Great performance. He'll be terribly disappointed to fall short. Ten runs short of a double century. But this is an innings and a score he'll remember for the rest of his life. Look again from the nursery. You know that ball just leaving Betty Mooney. Good delivery and uh, a wicket well earned for Paul Allard. He's been far and away the best of the quicker bowlers on the England side in this match. And a very well-deserved wicket for Paul Allett. We've got a couple of slips in now for uh, Aravinda De Silva. One more to De Silva. A little bit fortunate here. Top edged, lost his hand on the bat. Another landmark for Sri Lankan cricket. This is now their highest score in Test match cricket. 456 for five. Beats the previous best, all out 454 against Pakistan. That was in uh, Faisalabad. This Pocock. <laughs> Foul up. Oh, oh, and Pocock deserved that. Fowler has fielded very well, and Pocock has bowled extremely well. Fine innings from Gulib Mendes. Caught, Pocock, uh, caught uh, Fowler, bowled Pocock. And it's Pocock's second one. I think when he hit it, he knew he was going to be out. Beautifully caught there. <laughs> the trouble with these fellows, they 
respecters of uh, reputations. Threat not a half volley, and they just smash it away for four. Yes, this was a tremendous shot again. It's it coming up off the back foot through the covers. Beautiful shot. But the England bowlers have certainly bowled much better this morning. Paul Allott and Pocock have performed much like, more like England bowlers. And he's done Agnew again. Two half follies, and the silver has smashed both of them away through extra cover. In fact, you don't need to uh, replay that because it's an actual replay of the shot before. Oh, another wicket down, the silver goes. Agnew claims another wicket. 464 for seven now. Well, a bit of fortune for Agnew Air, who was bought pretty well this match and not had much luck. And uh, Air, he just gets a slight brush on the bat going down the leg side and a little bit of luck there and a bit of unluck for the bats because you're a bit unlucky if you really get out like that down the leg side. It's Pocock to bowl to De Silva, uh, to uh, De Mel rather. That's a great shot. One of the things that always disappointed me, Raymond, I was never good enough to be able to bowl to those men close in two or three yards away from the bat. Well, we're never selling for stand there at this stage either, uh, Richard. Again, a good shot here, making quite a bit of room for himself. You can see that he already got outside leg stump before Pocock released the ball. And in fact, the one thing that Pat Pocock had to do then was to be a fraction short, which in fact he was. And he gave it a slash then down to third man. jump for that one, it's gone into the tavern. It was a long way away from it, it was pretty well bowled by Pocock, but that's uh, not much consolation. Got himself room there, chopped it away square on the offside, good stroke from Gamel. He goes uh, very nicely on to 20. Is that a declaration? It looks as though it's a declaration. 491 for seven. That's surprising. I thought they might really be looking for uh, 500 up there. That just gives them uh, 20 minutes before lunch to have a crack at England. Well, what about that then? 491 for seven declared. The highest score ever by a team coming to England to play their first test match. Tremendous performance that. Better Mooney, 190 and Dulip Mendes 111, then the Silver 16 and DeMel remaining unbeaten on 20 and it was tough going for the England bowlers. I thought Pocock was outstanding.